Hi, Hi guys, guys. Welcome, welcome back to our YouTube channel. channel. This is Baby Beauty. As a Baby World, we are the Posh Twins. As you guys can already see from the title below, we're going to be doing the pressure that comes oh, with it. the 20s. 20s. We're going to be talking about a lot of topics that I feel like a lot of people in their 20s can relate to about the unrealistic expectation the society placed on us in our 20s. Like they felt like if you haven't achieved a certain milestone and you pass your 20s, a lot of people feel like they're a failure. They made 30 feel so old to the essence that people feel like, oh, if they are 30 or if they're about to get to their 30, they feel like they're a failure. They'll be like, oh, I've not achieved this, I've not achieved that, I've not. So that means automatically they're, they're a failure. failure. And everybody's time is different. different. Like, so we're going to be talking about lots of it more in the video. But before we get right into today's video, make sure you give it a very big thumb up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and turn off the post notifications so, so you can get notified when we upload a new video. Let's get right into today's video. I feel like there are a lot of unrealistic expectations placed on people in their 20s. We are also in our 20s and I feel like that's why more we can relate to it. It's very hard for us not to feel that prayer, even though sometimes we tend to be like everybody's time is different. But when the society is, we, is even not society alone, we is something that we can all see, something that is more visible. Even when you go to social media and you see someone in their like early 20s, early, like getting their cars, like, like even like, getting cars, building houses, getting married, and you are almost going to your late 20s and you're like, oh, I've not achieved this. And there's this prayer, even by your families, by your relatives, by your friends, and be like, oh, why haven't you done this? Why have you done that? They made it feel so much like someone is a failure if you, if you have not achieved that even at your 20 even at your 20s even the prayer from the society may even place a lot of prayer on ourselves as well like you know when you compare yourself to like your age mate you know a lot of people that you went to high school with a lot of people that you went to college with and you felt like they have achieved a certain mindset you know there's some certain mindset that you look at okay once i'm through with college i should get a job and once i get a job i should be working and a lot a, a lot of people's times is different you might finish college and you not get a job immediately. Why someone will finish college now and they're going to get a job immediately? But that prayer is going to be placed on you know when the other person is like, oh, oh my God, you have finished college? Yes, I finished college. What are you doing? I've not gotten a work yet. You know the fact that it was being said to your face, you, it will make you look as if you are already a failure for you not to have even gotten a job at, by that time. I feel like uh, I feel like uh, they need to really we need to really um reset our mindset i don't know how to put it so that's something that we have to because i feel like it's kind of draining everybody in their 20s and i feel like that's why a lot of people are more depressed and their mental health is kind of like the territory in some ways because let me put in an essence for example there's this i feel like 20s your early 20s is your adult stage not 18. i feel like once you get to your 20s there's a certain aspect already placed in your life where you want to do okay you go to school then when you graduate college they expect you to you know to get a good job after getting a good job if i if you are a woman they expect you to get married get married if you're a man they expect you to be financially stable before you you know before you get married it's just like more of like a, a time ticking bomb i don't know how to call it it's like more you like have to meet a race that, yeah. like it's, when we are in 20s just like a race that you have to meet one certain aspect or one certain milestone for you to know that you are making it in life which is not true at times because the prayer is just too much for example once you, that's why i said at, at times i don't like telling people my age because once you tell people that oh i'm this age then they start asking i know sometimes it comes from a place of love yes, exactly. but at times it can be very very frustrating and um it i don't can, know it can be very like very it, it, the emotional part it is can very damaging doing, yeah. damaging to the sense that people like oh you're this why are you not yet married why are you not yet this why are you not that and it's made me feel like i'm trying I'm already trying enough. I can't do more than what I'm doing. But you know, it, it's already placed on it because they, they'll be like, oh, so, 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 when she was 25, she's already married she with two kids. kids. She has a career. Yeah. She has this and has that. And I'll be like, no, like, why is it that so, 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 it makes me look like as if my own life is not better or it's not going the way I want it, and it's I the, want it to And go. it's the fact that I used to tell people like, it's good to fail in your 20s. There are some people that will make it to their 20s, and there's some people that will not make it to their 20s. That is when they get to their 30s that they're going to start to make it. But with the prayer that is already in place on the 20s, like, oh, okay, look at some people when they are through with high school, they are able to go to college directly. But some people, that is not the way, or that is not the way their destiny or their life is well, destined they're, they're to go by. They are not even privileged, not even that they don't even want to. Yeah. They might not be privileged, maybe the uh, lack of financial. Yeah. Uh, assistance or a lot of you know a lot of things that can hinder them going to college but seeing them like, oh my god why are you not in college yet you're, you're meeting in college like people are forgotten that all of us time is different like the way all of us are going there will be you, you there's even sometimes that some people get to college very fast 
that they will enter college and they won't get a job when they are done with college. And there's some people that they won't get to college, like they won't enter into college at that time, at that, that right early stage. At that early stage. And once they get into college, and before you know it, once they are even before they are through with college, they have already gotten a job down. So that's why that we say that it's not the prayer that is placed on us to the extent that you feel like, oh my God, when they're like, oh my God, your mate is already in college. What are you doing at home? Why are you not doing this? You know, the prayer will get to you like, I feel like, oh my God. What am I doing wrong? Like, you know, am like, I a failure? <laughs> exactly. It's kind of this acting because I won't like to you. I feel like I'm kind of like, I won't say we are not guilty. Everybody is all guilty of what I'm about to say. You know, when you think of certain aspects or certain milestones that you should achieve, and you just be like, oh, I'm so clock 30. I'm so clock 30. <laughs> like, you made it like, to be honest, I won't like, even though it's now, I know it's hard. I'm guilty of it. To be honest, when I think about status, I feel like, my life is already coming to an end yeah not like uh, in a in a dead way or something in a side way but you know just feel like i should have achieved all this before getting to thirties. but a lot of people a lot of women start getting uh them giving birth by their thirties. a lot of women start their career by their thirty and they make it i'm not saying that that doesn't mean you have to slow down or you or have to not work or you not work hard towards to be, if you can be able to achieve it in your 20s i just like the prayer is just too much to the essence that a lot of people tend to do some things that they are not meant to do like if when is not your timing everybody has a different timing because a was able to buy a car at 20 was able to get married at 25 was able to have kids at 26 does not mean your own is gonna go that way does not mean you should compare yourself to a and felt like oh my god i'm a failure look at a we're of the same age we went to the same college look at her she already has a life like or he or she has already have a life in a very good way and look at me i'm still at the back with nothing to show off like it make all of us call ourselves a failure most of the time and it, it's kind of hard because you can't compare your life with a a might get married for does not mean i'm not saying like don't mean that you're not going to get married exactly so, like like to get it doesn't married. have a it, we shouldn't put on a, like a time, time to it or a clock to it when it comes to certain aspects or certain areas in our life i feel like that's more of the advice i feel like we should all kind of like things i know that comparison is like it robs people of their happiness when you compare especially social media right now to be honest when you go to social media if you're not very careful it tends to make you feel like you're a failure it tends to make you feel like you're not even working hard exactly. it tends to make you feel like you're not even doing your best even when you are doing it because you tend to compare that oh for example nara smith is 23 she's married she has a career going she has this and you'll be like oh i am 25 i'm just inside i'm just inside, inside. <laughs> I'm just inside. i've not even achieved half of it it's like comparison at times that i feel like that's the one thing that we really need to work on in our 20s like it's is it's okay to fail it's okay to start again at it's not okay to start again even when you're seeing you're like late 20s it's never too late that's one thing i think my twins and i have come to like learn like you can feel only give i uh, um, i don't know how to put this uh philosophy west who says a winner is not someone that's uh, that give that fail so yeah a winner is someone, someone that keeps failing and, and keep keep, keep trying, trying that never gives up. up yeah that's what i think you it, that never gives up so which means even though if you fail does not mean you can't try again even though you are in your late 20s or you are in, you are in your mid-twenties does not mean you, you won't be able to achieve those things. There are a lot of people that they, they are in life even starts at their thirties. At their yeah, thirties. Yeah. It starts to the sense that even things that they could not achieve in their twenties, they, they are achieve, able to, they are able to, to achieve, achieve even more so far yeah. than it. Because I won't lie, even me, sometimes I just feel like when I look at some celebrities and I and, and I, I look at their age, it's kind of like, oh my God, like, what am I doing wrong? Like, we don't even give ourselves the credit of like, oh my God, instead of us to to um to i don't know how to use the word like compliment like to give ourselves so the, 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 the kudos the like kudos like what are we like, like, like okay like we should appreciate each achievement we have we have done but we'll compare ourselves to our mate like oh my god look at gorilla now she's 25 she already she's already have a music career she's making billions at 25 forgetting that gorilla's life and my life is very different mm -hmm. she my our own life might be very perfect at the 20s does not mean my own life will not be perfect at my 30s but you know lot of people like oh my god because i was unable to go to college at 20s oh my god no, it's too late for me to go to college at 30. No, it's not too late for you to start. And, 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 I don't think there's any time and, that it's too late for you to start. There's no time that it's late. Whether I want to give birth, whether I want to go to college, whether you want to achieve something or any milestone, I don't feel like there's any age to it. I just feel like it's the society that tags 
or put age to it. Like if a woman said, Oh, she's in 30, they just mean, Oh, your biology clock is it's gone it's gone it's like you know oh my god you're going to have you yeah, to you're gonna have complications <laughs> and sort of like oh maybe when you say oh you're going back to school at your 50s you're going back to school and they'll like, be like oh my god it's too no, late no, 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 no. what are you going to college for like i know because it can be very depressing you know i feel like that's why a lot of sisters even tend to get married to people to the wrong person like to settle for less just, yes to settle for less even in careers people just be like oh let me just be okay with this job let me be okay with this let me and we know that that okay is not what we are okay with but because of the society pressure that so that they can just they can just it can make me to look like i belong they can make me to feel like oh i'm i'm also achieving okay, that thing myself okay. even though when that is not what we wanted okay. i just want to know that it is okay to fail in your 20s and it is okay to start again in your 30s there's a lot of actresses out there that even their career start to pick up at the age of 40s at the age of 50s but you know the reason why that they're able to make it is because they never give up the moment they keep falling they keep standing up they never sit back and never compare your life to other people's life just because someone make it at their 20s okay. does not make you feel or make you like look like they're doing better than you they are not doing better than you that is just their own timing and space we and have even to, see like well, I remember I remember a post that I saw on I feel like on Instagram or something like that where someone was talking about how she she feels like she's a failure in her twenties because she has not yet she has not gotten married, she has not achieved her career and something. And I love how people kept kept coming out that oh she was able to get her career, now she's uh, she's jobless, she's divorced, she's this and that. And it made me realize that at times the people that you're even comparing your life to might not even be the happiest like how you they might not even, they might not even or, achieve yeah. what you thought you think you have achieved. Look like our social media is people post mostly of their happy moments. Mm -hmm. They never post the sad, sad, sad moments. Moment. Yeah, the sad moments. Yeah. It, and it's it's why people feel like oh their life has to be perfect, just like the celebrity gala. But if you tend to know these people on a deeper level, you tend to not even pray for their career, for their life. I feel like for their life, when you even step shoes into what they, they are, are going, going through. through we all max it up on social media and make it look like oh it's okay and i feel like that's where some of the prayer comes from you go to social media you see a lot of people flaunting money yes. flaunting cars like, some really flaunting. like what am i doing wrong with my life like yeah, yeah what, what am i doing wrong yeah and that way you start to compare your own timing to their own timing just because they start to make that's why i said that just because they start to make it at their twenties does not mean you that you have not started making that does not mean you're not going to make it at your thirties. And we shouldn't make it in our head like oh my god, just because I didn't go to college at twenties, that means that just the end of it. I'm too old at thirties. I'm too old at forties. I'm too old at fifty. No, even no. as much I feel like if you if you if you are meant for something and if you have determination for something, you will never give up on it no matter how the circumstances i feel like a lot of people will give up on oh i feel like now that i'm in my 30s nah, i don't feel like going back to school yeah i'm almost in my late 20s i don't feel like going back i feel like you, it's you too don't late. Have, it's yeah. too, i feel like you don't have that much damnation in you if you have that much damnation, and i feel like we should all we should all believe in god we should all believe in allah the god that we serve i feel like when you believe in that there are a lot of people that they are they get married at 20 and now and are now divorced, divorced yeah and there's some people that get dead married in their 30s are now happily married they even have more blessed married than. i'm not using it to i'm not saying i'm not using it to mock those people that got divorced except i'm just talking in like when you like sometimes when you don't compare to, your own timing with, with, with them with because them. some people the people you are looking like oh my god she finished college and she and she was able to get college before you my finish college and not get a job like when someone that was that gets to college late might get there and like what i said earlier might get there and before he or she's even through the college there's already a job a lot of jobs are waiting for them so imagine you yourself comparing your life to that person just because you just drop out or maybe you just drop out from high school and you feel like my god look at my mate now because i drop out look at them that they are making big money or sometimes like, when people look at youtubers you just start to have your own i feel like Sometimes when you hear the stories or the uh the consistently some YouTubers put this, some people it was after eight years they started gaining what they're gaining. I knew that just start you started comparing like oh my god I can't wait to become this mm -hmm. and that I can't wait to become the egg family I can't wait to be get, get popular like that. This forgotten that these people has also been in your position where they had to start all over again where they they had to not give up about things and I feel like I don't want us to put much of the blame on the society at times. I feel like we should tend to to know to to, to, uh, to acknowledge yeah. our own our own uh our own i don't know how to put it, our own errors yes, so yeah. our own wrong is not put it that oh because of the society that's why i was pressured into doing this yes, or that's yeah. why i was pressured into doing that now i feel like at times when you sit down and you know what you want i feel like taking a baby step is okay yeah we can take a baby step 
and everything is not even by uh accordingly yeah. i don't know how to put it it's not compulsory some people get married before going to college yeah. some people become celebrity before doing this some people become this i don't feel like it has to be accordingly because everybody's time is different some people go to college first why some people make money before going to college that does not make them less of those people that went to college first or that doesn't make the person that become a at the very time that it make them less of people like or like make them look better than people that has, 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 has not yet a celebrity or people that have not gone to college exactly. i just want to know that just find the lane find things that you love be true there's one thing is that be unique be unique in your own way don't try to copy someone else look for things that will make you like oh my god i'm unique in it and face it and never give up fail um, as many times as you want like we are meant we are woman being we are meant so we are meant to make a mistake we are meant to feel never feel like oh because of this mistake now i've ruined my life no you are, you are not ruining your life exactly. like that mistake is going to shape you to be who you want to be and it's going to give you exactly. that um that encouragement that next time you are going you are not you are not going, going to, to make that, that same mistake, mistake again. i feel like in our 20s we shouldn't be afraid of failure i feel like when you're afraid of failure you tend to even be more failing than achieving we shouldn't be afraid of failure i feel like that's what we all have to work on on our 20s when you are not afraid of failure, it you tend to do things more better because it kind of shapes you. It kind of brings you know, oh, this is what I'm supposed to have done, right? This is what I'm not supposed to have done yet. And it's if you if you ask the most richest man in the world, if you ask the most popular person in the world, if you ask them for advice, they will tell you how they failed, how they felt like oh they could not make it, and just because they never give up with consistently with prayer and with believing, because at times you might have everything, and because you don't believe in your own dreams, dreams yeah. it might not even work. Yeah. That's why a lot of people they were able to really ruin their vision or really ruin their dreams because of the other low self esteem about themselves. Right? Come on, am, I going to, am I going to make it in this? Yes. In this so that's why some people that's why they just choose a wrong career because when once they be like oh my god. By the time I'm 30, I don't feel like I will they'll be like, okay, then if someone just advises that I feel like you shouldn't go for this career, I feel like you should go for, for this, this career. career, and they just automatically go to it because they wanted a quicker race, a quicker path. And people be like, okay, because now I'm in my 30, so my god, ah, oh my god, a lot of my friends have given back to like four kids, five kids, and look at me in my 30s, so I don't want an husband yet, and they will, it will make them settle for less for even for someone they are not supposed to settle for. Exactly. Everybody's time is different, you all you might find your husband in your early 20s in your even your mid um 20s and don't know that they will look they'll find their soulmate in their 30s so never give up and be like oh my god and settle for less or compare your career to other people else. in other words you, you are very sure you and you believe in your career and you keep on trying and trying and trying you surely get there there's no way you will surely get there there's no one that doesn't want to achieve everything in their 20s but at times we 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 plan things and sometimes it might not go according to where we plan it because god has much mm -hmm. more better plan for, for us, us. No, we uh, just because we said oh don't put the pressure on you does not mean you don't have to put sometimes those pressure at times actually uh, motivate us more to do better push us more forward but at the same time you need to like you know appreciate the little things that you have also achieved instead of trying to worry about what is going to happen tomorrow what's going to happen next tomorrow what's going to happen up at tomorrow so i feel like that's just what this video all it is about just like the prayer that come with it education marriage um financial something i just feel like we need to like sometimes you need to just take it slow once you fail does not mean that's the end of life you can still start all over again you can start at 20 fail at 25 then start over again at 26 fail at 27 then start all over again because you are going to still make it you're going to still get in as much as you don't give up you are surely going to make it i've seen a lot of people's stories whereby they uh, they do a pig is a pigment a pigment that she said she tried for 30 times i've seen a lot of people that went to audition for 100 times just because they didn't give up they get to their career so you failing now does not mean you are not going to achieve it but it's just one goal that is left never give up like keep on trying and trying and trying and trying and before you know it you surely get there exactly so i hope you guys enjoyed this a little bit i feel like this is just more like you know talking to talking, you guys and giving you guys an encouragement you can also relate to what we said if you're in your 20s let us know that the comment section we are just trying to you know to like talk to each other and to navigate our, our 20s and the unrealistic expectation that was being placed on us on our 20s okay, so make sure you comment down below and we hope this video is like an encouragement to someone out there that felt or feel like they're a failure out there you are not a failure trust and not me. to give up and not comparation to give up. for us people of happiness like when you compare your life to another people it kind of rob you of your own happiness and that does not mean your life 
or their life is better than, than yours. yours yeah because you're also trying to yeah you're also trying and you're also making a progress exactly. so please never give up <laughs> never give up <laughs> fighting <Yeah. laughs>